G'day, g'day, I'm Chase of Lungarax, and today we're going to be reacting to Coffee, The Greatest Addiction Ever by CGP Grey. We have never reacted to this guy before, uh, and you guys recommended him to me, so we're going to be diving into his content and another food-related documentary, uh, as we have done The Egg uh, and Milk. So we're going to dive into this one, and then there is another Kurskazak food-related one uh, that we're going to dive into after this. And let me know if you guys enjoyed the shorts, because I posted a few shorts uh, yesterday, and they have gone crazy with views, so... Maybe that is the way you guys like it. Maybe you like uh, reaction videos, but in shorter uh, quantities. And I'm glad I could release that BuzzFeed Unsolved documentary <laughs> scary thing that happened because that got blocked on copyright grounds. Uh, and the other one was just a blooper that was funny, so I released it. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the uh, the shorts that I posted. Uh, and if you are new here, then feel free to subscribe, join that notification squad because we are a growing channel. And I am excited to dive into CGP Grey and see what his content is all about. Uh, so yeah, leave a like, comment your thoughts on coffee and this video in the comments below, and let's dive into it. CGP Grey Coffee, the greatest addiction ever. And this is a short one, so uh, won't go for very long. <laughs> Every day, the world consumes 300 tons of caffeine, enough for one... <laughs> okay, right off the bat. Every single day, 300 tons of caffeine. And that's not just coffee, that could be energy drinks like Red Bull or V or Monster or Mother or Rockstar or... Uh, any other energy drinks like that, so much has caffeine in it. And I can actually confidently say I don't drink coffee. I think it tastes really bad. And when I tell people that, they say, oh, it's just because you're not an adult yet, Chase. You're just a measly little little, little teenager. Um, which, you know, could be real because a lot of kids, even though I'd say more kids nowadays are drinking coffee than they used to, I think uh, teenagers drinking coffee is way more uh, prominent in society than it used to be. Um, and obviously a lot of kids today drink energy drinks and stuff like that, which is very common. Um, so, you know, that's another thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't drink coffee. I think it's gross, and I'm glad that I don't drink caffeine. One cup of coffee for every man, woman, and child. The world's largest buyer of coffee, the US, has to import nearly all of this, as the coffee trees from which caffeine is harvested will only grow at commercial levels between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, in hmm. an area called the Coffee Belt. Only a single I state in Hawaii is- Oops, sorry. I think they all come from South America, like Brazil and Ecuador, Colombia, El Salvador, Honduras area, I think. Um, although it's North America too, but yeah, I think it's definitely in the tropics, like the very hot areas with like, uh, cocoa beans and stuff like that. And this guy has a very like young voice. He's, he sounds very young. He's like, every day people consume <laughs> Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn in an area called the Coffee Belt. Only a single state, Hawaii, is within this belt. Oh, However, what? the United States is only hmm. the largest buyer because it's so populous. The most enthusiastic coffee drinkers per capita are, in increasing order, the Netherlands, Denmark, Iceland, Norway, and the world champions, Finland. Where they Those are all like Scandinavian countries, right? That seems weird. Um, that's like a really cold area, and I know that's a lot of, in some of those countries, I think marijuana is legal, which we did a video on that. You can check that out, um, as it was a Kurtz Kazak video. But yeah, I'd say that a lot of people would just go there in the morning, get a cup of coffee and <laughs> a joint from their local coffee shop. They drink three times as much coffee a day as the average American. Wow. All of these countries are outside the coffee belt and must import 100% of their caffeine supply. Mm. To get this well, well, cocoa beans wouldn't really grow uh, in that area of the world because it's so damn cold. It has to be really like rainforest almost, I'm pretty sure. Caffeine. First bees must pollinate the flowers of a coffee tree and these flowers develop into bright red berries. Unlike more cooperative domestic plants, the coffee tree does not ripen all its berries at the same time, so they need to be hand-picked and sorted. Once picked, the coffee bean is removed from inside the berry. This young seedling of the tree is then dried, heated, ground, and submersed in boiling water to get out the precious, precious caffeine. It takes wow. about 40 coffee beans to make one shot of espresso. But why is Think about that. Think of all the hard work that goes into just like your morning Starbucks coffee. And bees are actually dying at a significant rate than they used to. So if there's no bees, then the world will not get its coffee. And that won't affect me. If coffee disappeared, I wouldn't care less. I really don't care for it or drink it. Um, but for a lot of people, they say, oh, don't talk to me till I've had my morning coffee. It's literally in, in their entire life. It's in their morning routine. It's just a part of their life. Um, so, you know, it's crazy how much actually goes into something that we perceive as just so simple and we're so entitled to have. Why is caffeine in the coffee beans in the first place? It's not like the coffee trees want to have humans cutting bits off of them and committing a holocaust of their offspring. <laughs> well, the trees, of course, don't want or feel anything. They originally evolved caffeine for their own benefit. Caffeine hmm. is an insecticide that effectively paralyzes or kills bugs chomping on the tree. Whether or not- Whoa, I did not know that. Kills pesticides and bugs chomping on the tree. So caffeine is like a insect deterrent. That's crazy. 
It's like a poison. These insects go back. Which, which says a lot about humans. <laughs> out experiencing the greatest caffeine high ever is not known. Hmm. While caffeine is technically lethal, it's adapted for one gram bugs, not monkeys a hundred thousand times more massive. So you'd mm -hmm. really have to try to win this Darwin Award. But yeah. if you must, to calculate the dose of caffeine you'll need to ingest to have a 50% chance of death, take your mass in kilograms and multiply it by 150 milligrams. Or oh, in terms of coffee, yikes. for every kilogram of mass you have, you need to drink one latte to get a visit from the Grim Reaper. That's a lot of coffee, so it's not yeah, surprising exactly. that there are no recorded deaths in healthy adults from this method. And it's doubtful that it's even... I don't think people are that uh, coffeed out that they would drink. So say you're like, I don't know, 75 kilos, which is like 170 pounds. I don't know. Uh, I don't do the imperial method. Um, and then you'd have to drink that much coffee. I think people have like maybe eight is like a big day of coffee i don't know i could be wrong again i don't drink coffee so impossible because while you're busy getting coffee in your body is busy getting it out by one way or another the rare recorded deaths from caffeine are from diet pills pet pills and crazy people who eat the drug in its pure form oh god imagine. poison though caffeine is you do not still good. develop an addiction to the stuff and it's a real physiological addiction not a wimpy psychological addiction like people claim for video games and the internet <laughs> but caffeine isn't heroin rapid withdrawal won't kill you it might make you cranky and give you a wicked headache but since caffeine releases dopamine to make you happy and it gets rid of headaches there's really no reason to ever stop using the stuff and who would want to mm. give it up anyway? I mean, aside from converts to Mormonism and Rastafarianism. Caffeine is the world's most used psychoactive drug, and with good reason. It's pure awesome. It increases concentration, decreases fatigue, and gives you better memory. This makes someone like me want to try coffee, but I just, nah, it's, it's a dependency. Like, I would hate to have, that's something I, I actually really like about myself, is that I don't have a craving for anything. I don't depend on any one item. Uh, like cigarettes or vaping or alcohol or pot or uh, coffee. And this is the biggest um, addiction ever because it's not really seen as a, an addiction. It's so ingrained in our society that everyone just drinks coffee, especially adults. And it's just like a part of life that everyone does. But it's weird because we never really put it under the microscope and saying this is a legitimate addiction. Uh, and like, why do people start this, you know? And this isn't just a placebo, these are real effects replicable in a laboratory. And, contrary to popular belief, drinking coffee isn't a Faustian bargain where the devil gives you the ability to work faster, but in exchange makes your life shorter. For normal, healthy mm. humans, there are no medical concerns. Coffee and the caffeine within it may even have medical benefits, such as protection from cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and Parkinson's. Oh, God knows I need it then, because my heart's just gone through the ring of this past week. <laughs> caffeine can even get rid of migraines, but the amount required and the method of ingestion is uncomfortable. Mm. Moving right along. You know what else you can think? <laughs> just quickly segue from that. Yeah, it would probably just numb your your brain <laughs> so you wouldn't feel the migraine. Caffeine for a little thing called the Enlightenment. In the 1600s, people drank more beer and gin than water. But with the introduction Yikes. of coffee and tea, people switched from a depressant to a stimulant. It's not surprising then that this time was an intellectual boon compared to earlier centuries. That's really interesting. It's, it's crazy that just switching from that uh, uh, gin and alcohol to coffee and tea would actually stimulate like an intelligent era of mankind. That's pretty bloody incredible. And, you know, I would 100% take coffee over alcohol or gin uh, in lifelong. Like I, I like the taste of alcohol more than I do uh, coffee. But, you know, if I had to choose one uh, to, you know, have ingested all every day, then I'd say coffee would be a lot less bad for me than alcohol. Ben Franklin and Edward Lloyd love their coffee for the same reason that modern workers and students do. It's invaluable for staying awake and concentrating when you need to finish a TPS report or get through that boring physics class. <laughs> coffee is the fuel of the modern world, so go grab a cup guilt-free and get working smarter and faster. And that's it. That was Coffee, the Greatest Addiction Ever by CGP Grey. I can kind of get from him that I think he drinks a lot of coffee. Um... I, I don't know. Let, try In the comments, I read every single comment, by the way. So try and convince me to drink coffee because I don't drink coffee. I think it's really gross. Um, I don't see the point in it. Uh, but he, he puts a pretty, pretty strong argument. But I just don't want to become dependent on something to stay awake or not be able to function until I have a morning coffee. So let me know your thoughts on this video. And let me know if you drink coffee and how much coffee you drink every day uh, and see if you contribute to the large... Uh, 300 tons of caffeine consumed every day on our planet. Uh, but that was Coffee the Greatest Addiction ever by CGP Grey. Let me know if you enjoy CGP Grey's uh, videos and you would like to see me react to more of his content in the future. I've been Chaser Blind Reacts. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at CHYZ. And join the Discord because I've been interacting with a bunch of you in the Discord, so thank you very much for joining and I appreciate it. I've been Chaser Blind Reacts. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.